Thank you, Jenny. Now at five, we do start tonight with breaking news. In just the last 25 minutes, we've learned Metro Police have a person in custody after a deadly shooting and car crash at a northwest side apartment complex. So this happened about a half mile west of Newfield. That's near 38th and North Michigan. And our Chase Howe rushed to the scene as soon as we learned about those shootings. He joins us live with a look at what police are saying and the concerns that the people have who live there. Chase. Felicia and Marie, I'm here on Cold Spring Road, which is right next to White River Apartments, where police say they found a person dead. Now, we're going to cross the street so I can show you the back side of the crime scene. Here, you're going to be able to see a police car along with crime tape up as police continue to investigate a shooting they said happened just around three this afternoon. But before we got kicked off their properties, here's what we saw. Police had a section of Gable Lane Circle taped off as officers investigated a shots fire call that led them to the discovery of a man dead outside a maroon car that had severe damage. Now, a man I spoke to told me the vehicle was, quote, shot up real bad. Police later confirming the man was shot elsewhere in the complex and hit several vehicles with his car, including a utility van that had damage to the front end of it. Residents outside tell me they're feeling uneasy. Since I've lived here, nothing like this has happened, um, especially since it's a like gated community. There's a lot of families that live here. I always thought it was safe, but it does still make me a little bit uneasy, even though this is the first time it's happened. Now to recap what we've learned from police within the last couple minutes is that a person was found shot to death outside their car and another person has been detained. What the relationship to the crime scene is at this point, we still are unsure. They tell us portions of the complex will be closed off for a few hours. All right, Chase Howe reporting live from the scene. Thank you so much for that update.